Hi, my name's Richard Pitt. I work for Tavasiva Dance. Tavasiva Dance is an African contemporary dance company. It's based in Wandsworth and the company produces work that then goes on tour and is performed around the country and around the world. I came to Tavasiva via an interesting route, I guess. My career, it's always been based on dance. I've performed, I've trained, I've worked on Notting Hill Carnival. I've worked on musicals that would be sort of in the West End. I've worked on big commercial dance productions that have toured around the world. Um, and then I got into sort of contemporary dance and African dance. In 2014, when I joined the Association of Dance of the African Diaspora. Tavasiva is based in Wandsworth, but we've been working from home for the past year. So you can give it a little bit of a swag and really relax in the body, yeah? My role with Tavasiva Dance is a learning and participation lead. It's, um, it's looking at what's happening within a company and then developing um, a learning and participation programme to go alongside that. So I would basically go into schools or any sort of organisation and I would work with that school to develop workshops. So we would use one of our dancers, for example, and I would bring them into your school and we would do a session on African contemporary dance. You'd get up, do some dancing. Um, we also do the same sort of thing going into communities, local to Wandsworth, but also nationally and internationally. And we would also work with professional dance companies going in and doing proper technique classes with them. So, we are developing a project with the Royal Academy of Dance and with Activity Station based on a piece of work or a, a production that we're creating using Baron Tavasila, who's our artistic director, and Shine, who have worked together before in the past in Zimbabwe and are now working together here in the UK. Shine, the other dancer, he suffered an accident and um, he's now disabled. So we're going into the studio to look at dance for an able-bodied person and dance for a disabled person and, and to see how those two bodies can work together and what that collaboration can look like. And on the side of that, I'm creating lots of different workshops around it with different organisations. It's about education, participation, um, we all learn, we want to teach, obviously the company's teaching and delivering these workshops, but we're also learning from the community that we're working with or the organisation that we're working with. Um, so it's, it's very varied, which I think is a good thing. I'm not sure if there's one set route to becoming a learning and participation lead um, because if there is I don't think I took that route um, so if you're looking for a career in the arts I think you can find out what courses might be running near to you locally or a little bit further afield if necessary check online as well if you want to perform start doing things there are amateur dramatic groups there are courses you can do get a feel for it don't be afraid to ask questions you can call a company like Tavasiva Dance you can come in and look at the work that we do you can come in and ask us questions we can come to you um, if you want something don't be afraid to go out and get it Because of the pandemic, it's been a year for learning for all of us. I had to edit some films that we were doing from conversations we had on Zoom, like a sort of podcast type thing. 
Um, this afternoon I had to set up a, um, a filming studio in my flat. Um, we are working with disabled people and so I'm learning a lot about that and that work and how important it is, how delicate it can be and sensitive and how we can work better for people. If you stop learning, it might be because you stopped looking. Um, so look and you will learn and it can be anything. Find out what is important to you. Don't be afraid to do it if it's different to what everybody else is doing. Don't think that you have to come from a certain background to get somewhere. As long as you know what you want to do and where you want to go. For me, it would be about serving the wider community. I would love to do a project um, based on the environment and our awareness of what we are doing, what we can do, what we should be doing, and how we can all change that.